Hi, this video shows how I replace the parking brake switch and auto H switch on my BMW 5 Series F10. So why did I want to do this? Well, you can maybe see that the parking brake button is cracked in several places, right across the middle of the P symbol, and also front to back. And the black colouring on the edge of the auto H button is worn away, so I decided to replace both buttons at the same time. What you need to do is pop open the centre console, press on the triangular plastic cover by the lock button to remove it. It just pops off. Underneath it is a single screw holding the centre console trim in place. You'll need a Torx key to loosen the screw and I recommend a small magnet to remove it because it's fiddly. Next you need to lever up the trim. I use this plastic trim tool but I guess a screwdriver will work if you're very, very careful. So what we're trying to do is get to the four torque screws that hold the gear shifter surround. Two are at the back and two are at the front. Now I couldn't get to the front screws, so I had to take out most of the connectors and set the trim panel off to one side. And here are the difficult to get at front screws. You need to take the connector off the parking brake to free off the whole assembly. The first thing you need to do is to undo the four small torque screws to free the parking brake from the silver trim surround. Now lever up each side of the auto H button using a small screwdriver. It is fiddly but it's not too difficult. The new button I bought is a cheap Chinese copy without the clear plastic light guide so it probably won't light up when it's in use but I'm not that bothered because I always look at the dash instruments to see if the auto hold functions on anyway. All you do is just pop the new button in place, just press it into place. Next you need to lever up each side of the parking brake and it'll just pop off like that. The replacements I've got is also a cheap Chinese copy. It actually seems really quite good and it just snaps into place.
okay we're back in the car what you need to do is just refit everything in the reverse that you took it off not forgetting of course to put all the connectors back the thin red and black wires on the left are attached to the illumination led for the ashtray they're quite fiddly to work with but you can do it Okay, press down on the trim until it's all seated nicely. Place that single screw. Then replace the cover for the screw, and we're all done. Okay, let's see if it all works. Yeah. Thanks for watching.